Thank you for coming back to another another episode of the Two Five Seven Podcast. 257 Collective <laughs> Podcast. That's okay. That's I've, okay. I've messed up already. I'm nervous. that nervous, boys. I'm that nervous. We've got a full live audience. There's more people watching us than there is doing the podcast. Make we got some noise. Make some we noise. got Jack, Jay and Tex, our, our boys working Shout on Shout out, the boys. Um, Jack, Jack will feature on the podcast in the next coming weeks. That's for sure. We'll, we'll, we'll do a couple with him. Um, boys, how's it going? Good, good. Sunday. Happy going to good. be here. How are you? With you too. Really good. Are you good? You just yeah. got back from Dubbo, eh? Yeah, it was nice, man. Went and visited the family for a couple of days and big, big drive back this morning, but... Six? Nah, it's only four. Oh, that's right. Four and a bit, 4.20. I think I did it in about 3.50 or something. <laughs> Bad guy. How was your Speaking weekend, man, KP? Because you sound a bit rough. It was nice. The... No, no. <coughs> oh, a little bit. It was <coughs> what nice. have you been doing, bro? Me, me throw sore. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't, I think it's the aircon. <laughs> yeah, the aircon. That's <laughs> never on in this place. That's why nah, I'm always sweating. Yeah, well, Connor was at home, so I've been I actually just it. turned it on. Yeah. What else wasn't, like... Oh. The house. You want to explain? <laughs> Do you want me to spill the tea or what? Or we can talk about it later. Yeah, we'll just save it for later. We'll talk about it later. Um, boys, but on that, the podcast today, we're going to talk a little bit of music. We're going to talk a couple near-death experiences. We're going to go into some segments that we've got. Um, and then we're going to wrap it up with Connor just failing at being an adult. So, oh, oh, and the, re- I, no, the, the rest the of us. One? The rest of us. But mainly you. Mainly you. <laughs> um, but first, we want to start, as we do, always giving our... Our fans a shout out. So today we got Teresa Woodhart and Delsha Tenner. So thank so. you, for, thank you to them, and and we also want to say sorry to all the listeners because yeah, we <laughs> last week, we last week up. we did a great podcast with our really good mate Braddy Best. How long you reckon that went? We for? nailed it. We nailed it. Fifty hours. It was, yeah. it was nearly an hour. It was perfect. He spoke really well. Laughs. It was funny, and then there were some good stories. And then what happened? And, and then, then what happened, Crax? D- this isn't on me. Well, do this we, is not on me. Let's go through. Okay, so timeline of events. Okay, Connor, ta- Connor takes it out. We're getting ready for the podcast. Yep. Connor took the SD card out of the... It's in now, way. Eh? It's in there now, I it's promise you. <laughs> I promise you. He took the SD card out of the uh, the podcast sort of table thing, the turntable. It, you call it a mixer. Yep. Mixer. Put it in the laptop, which KP was on. Yes. So Connor took it out. <laughs> yeah. KP put it in something different. And then when I started the podcast, I didn't realise that it wasn't back in the mixer. So, we, you, do you so explain, I'd say... Do you want to explain like... What was popping up on the mixer? Maybe big, the colour light X. wasn't red. A big X was popping up. What do you reckon that? There means? was a few things. I couldn't see it. I was too busy worried about the bloody intro, fading it in we, and out. We, we got that wrong today again. Yeah, I know. I'm, so I'm, I'm none from two. It's How bad's that? It's your fault that we don't have. A I reckon we all share the blame. A I reckon. Each. I reckon. Fifty you, twenty Kalen, no, twenty five Kalen, twenty five me. Yeah, it's fair. I'll take that. Forty me, thirty both of yous. <laughs> 40, 40, 40 you, KP. 35 <laughs> KP, 25 me. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Good maths. Um, <laughs> and while we're, while, we're, while we're on the 257 Collective chat, we want to talk about, um, if you follow the socials, you'd see the latest post of our, our man Caleb Trinket. Is that it? <laughs> Trink. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Caleb Tancred, man, come on. Yeah, Tancred. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just call him Levy. That's our boy, man. Yeah, you, you get his last name wrong. I call him C Leb. Okay. Yeah. Um, he's a little Levy. How would you explain it, Connor? Because this was your idea. <clears throat> yeah. So, you know, me and Caleb have spoken at length about the future of two five seven, where we oh, see it going. Big chats. Big, big real, chats. Real big, deep. Very deep. Going to the moon. Hmm. And um, solving world problems. Yes, we we want to bring people on, like minded people. People that we're close with, people that we enjoy spending time with, and uh, help them grow their personal brands in whatever they want to do. Obviously, um, our first athlete we signed was Declan, Declan the Wolf. The wolf. He's the actually going to fight next month. Yes, sir, he does. So he's a future UFC fighter. Um, he's going to be the first two five seven UFC fighter, which is I can't wait for that event when we're all there. That's um, based. And then Caleb, yeah, he um, actually ranked number one hottest prospect in Australia surfing. Um, and, and he's good looking too. And he's so good looking. And then and he decided to. And he's good fun on the drink. Good fun. He's and great. He's hot. He's got. He's a full package. Literally. Um, ten out of ten. That's yeah. And he sort of put his surfing on hold for a little bit, but he's back in the water now, surfing for two five seven. Mm. Um, he's part. Of, he's part of two five seven, and um, we're looking forward to seeing him getting back in the water more. I was texting him this morning, and. Um, I think he's got his froth back. He was out there early this morning. Didn't even go out last night. So, Ooh. Oh, I know, man. Big ga- big gains in that department. So I'm looking forward to seeing what uh, Team Two Five Seven does in the future. Maybe you could take a leaf out of his book. What? Not going out. What? <laughs> what do you mean? 
I didn't go out. I, I Why didn't is your voice so night. rusty? I didn't go out last night. <laughs> I woke up early, went to the markets. Oh, oh, I, thought I, I thought you didn't like them. I thought you, I thought you didn't thought, like the I markets. I don't like the markets. Oh. That's why I tell you to shut up. <laughs> don't lie to the people. <laughs> I, do, I, I love I, the markets, man. It's probably like... Yeah, <laughs> I've yeah. never been. I was real healthy today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was... <laughs> and you are pouring beers before? That would have been nice. Goosey. Goosey at Adam Sambolo, which is nice. I just got on tap there. Um, so I had to go, had to go do that. Little fingers plug, fingers little, and pies. A little cheeky plug there. He's got fingers a lot of pies. How's it all going? It's going good, eh? It's going good. Um, hopefully going to pick up a little bit more with the marketing team. Yeah. Um, but it's going good. What time did you get there? It's Today. What, to the Adamson? <laughs> yeah, because we were meant to meet here at six, weren't we? 5.30, <laughs> I was here back here at six. Like was I he? Back in time. Or did you call me at 10 past six, six leaving? <laughs> yeah. Time, time. No, nah, that's right. Do it, do what you want. Yeah. Time management's not my thing. Yeah. I'll tell you a bit about my day. I went and got a haircut. And bro, you know when you're sitting there and you're looking into the mirror and the bloke's just butchering your head up and you you just got no balls to say nothing? Give us a look. Nah, nah, nah. Just leave it. Just leave it. Just leave it. <laughs> but <laughs> Are you happy with that? Nah. Did you pay for that? <laughs> oh, you want to talk about haircuts? I've got a little fringe going on at the moment. Yeah. A little frolic. You can't decide whether like to keep too. the hair in the back or the front at the moment, eh? I know. We've got a bit of both at the moment. Are you the type of bloke if you're getting a shit haircut, you say something? No. Confrontation. Connor? No. Nah. I, I, I would pick him to be oh, one. Nah. A hair haircut, nah. I, I mean, it grows and, back. Yeah, and but my mum used to cut my hair, and I would spread. I would be like, mum, like, <laughs> but because I didn't really care, I'd be like, mum, this is shit. What are you doing? <laughs> Remember when I used to get my hair cut here, and then kind of crack the shits about it? <laughs> oh, it's because you got steel wool and hair, <laughs> and what, it, it literally clogged the filter of the pull up. But I have to get the service. No, the guy over to service. That's it, a mate. lie. That's a lie. Yeah. Nah, it's a bit of an exaggeration. But there was literally steel wool everywhere. You'd walk over there, end up in your foot. <laughs> <laughs> that much that's shit from you. You're not cleaning up after yourself. Oh. <laughs> Glass houses, man. Yes, exactly. That's what I wanted to talk about. Something else, like talking about saying something about your city haircut. Do you return food if you're if you're sitting at a restaurant and you order something that comes out and it's trash? What are you doing? I'm eating it. Hair, hair. Like if there's any human <laughs> object in it, fingernail hair, human <laughs> object. Yeah. What are you getting yeah. in your food, bro? Oh well, you know, sometimes like you just might get a hair or yeah, yeah. yeah. Hair. I'd yeah. still eat it. Too. Would you? You'd I'd eat the hair if it's not the hair. <laughs> 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 what are you doing? What What would you do if you plucked it out? Do you just put it on the side there? I'm just, you just pretend it didn't happen. What do you do if you're plucking it <laughs> out? Don't bro? show it. Yeah, I'm not showing anyone. It's a big forty <laughs> centimeter string piece of hair. <laughs> what are you I'm doing? Probably, I'm probably saying. What something. if it's curly and short, like black, like about that? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like a pube. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a pube. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, KP? Um, if I'm at dinner with you, I'd say, bro, what do I do? I wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> you just look away. I just eat it. <laughs> I, eat it. I would just, I would be like, call the waiter back. Excuse me. Yeah. I'm sorry. Look, there's a hair in this. Can you, you please? But you're good with that stuff. Because the other night we were out for tea and we were about to order and you weren't there for like the first time ever. And we were in shambles, eh? <laughs> we were no good, man. <laughs> Organisation. I'm not good We walked stuff. up there and I reckon it took us 15 minutes to order our food. Just to, I don't know what mm. to get everyone. I was yeah. nervous. Because you know how you're mad nervous. when we're sitting at a table, you order like entrees, then mm. like rice and that, and then all these different dishes and we all share. Yeah, it's one of my strengths. One of your specialties, yeah. The worst is um, dog. Nathan, like when he oh, yeah. orders coffee, you tell him. Um, so he likes the sugar poured in as the coffee shots poured in, basically simultaneous. Has to be like that. So then that way the sugar can melt into the coffee and he reckons he can taste the difference. So the boys have been out for brekkie with him before and he'll send coffees back and say, nah, the sugar wasn't poured in as the shot was. That's bad. That's not all. That is bad. (laughs) There's levels to it. Just just drink. Eat the bit of hair, yeah. <laughs> just eat the hair. <laughs> eat the hair. Uh, Enjoy boys, the hair. Uh, we'll move on. We said we we're going to talk a little bit about music and whatnot. Last week, oh, it was probably two weeks ago now, Daft Punk said that they were finished mm-hmm. in the music gang. Um, I heard this little story about Daft Punk. They reckon it was like eight or ten blokes, actually. Mm. It's, a, it's a myth. It's a myth. But what Con- they would say was- Conspiracy theory. Yeah, conspiracy theory. But they would say like every now and then a two, diff- two different blokes from the group of eight or ten would just put on the mask and whatnot and roam around. So that way the two people that are always in the fame have a bit of time off. I don't know. I don't know. I'll just sit there so and look at me. Why do they split? Why do they split? Maybe give me something back there. That's a nice story, but I want to know why they split. Why do they? I'm not too sure. I didn't read into it. Do you remember that night we had at the Cambridge? Daft Punk tribute? That would have been years ago, a couple years ago, yeah, three years yeah, ago. Yeah. It was like <laughs> he doesn't remember. Oh, I don't remember last night. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What'd you do? Nah, I thought you were fresh. <laughs> I thought you, I thought you were at the market. Nah, yeah, I do remember. Actually, yeah, I it do. was like just after the season had finished, 
and we went to little Sunday session wharf into Cambo and Daft Punk tribute band with it. It was actually cracker, like incredible. One of one of the great. We went nights. to a Rolling Stones tribute one day at the beaches. Yep. with Darkie. That was mad. Really? Yeah, that was mad. That sounds cool, man. Are you yeah. a Daft Daft Punk whatever? Massive, fan? massive. Huge? And that's what I was going to talk about. <laughs> yeah, say say their I name. I got that wrong. <laughs> no, nah, it's alright. <laughs> and that's what I was going to lead to because the song "Get Lucky." So if I'm ever sitting there at a party, or if we're at like kick-ons or pre's, and you're sitting there and someone goes like, oh, you got a song request? I always put this one song, hoping that crazy. it would get a good reaction from the crowd, and it's Get Lucky by Daft Punk. Sing it. Is that? I'm not singing it. No, just have a good one so no. everyone knows. And that's why I asked you to come a bit prepared and come with the three songs that you reckon are massive crowd favourites that always get the crowd going, no matter the situation. So KB, you go first. <clears throat> you got the, um, With the first audio pick. there? I did. I had the audio. I don't know if I want to play. <laughs> nah, do it. Nah, all right, Set okay. the scene, like five o'clock, six o'clock, sunset, where we're chilling with the boys. Yeah. A few beers. I don't know. It's any scene. It has to work for any crowd. Oh. Just, can you play anyway? I think by, he's got by, it on his by phone. By Duck Sauce? Yeah. I'll play, I'll play a little bit. This is my first. It. Yeah. Sing it. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. That's a pretty tell good me, one. Tell that's me you're good. not getting up. That's, nah, that's pretty man. good. That's, that's pretty a cracker. Good. Nah. What's your second one? Um, little L. <laughs> I'm glad you know it. <laughs> Lucky I've got it on my phone. <laughs> yeah, this one as well. Oh. oh. That's, that's a great baby. song. That's pretty good. They remind, they're sort of the same. Oh, and last one. Na, 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 na. <laughs> this one, eh? It's not bad. Everybody. Yeah. yeah. Disco. Disco. Disco vibes. Disco vibes. I like that. Connor, you had five. I asked for three. <laughs> well, you know me. <laughs> yeah. You know how I work, boys. Above and beyond. Every time you ask me, to, like, Caleb will go, who's your favourite NFL player? I've got about five. Yeah, who's my guy? I've got, he's got four mm. of them. Yeah. So for you to say, Connor, can you do a list of three? It was always going to be hard. Yeah, it's like when he says he loves someone, but he doesn't. Yeah. He changes it next week. He says, yeah. Oh, I can love a lot of people. Or when you find a new song and you've heard it once and, and you'll you play go, it and you'll go, oh, bro, I love this song. Have you heard it? And you know none of the words. <laughs> <laughs> You're you sitting there going, to the first 20 seconds. You're going, oh, yeah, actually, I might but, actually love this song. But I don't, I don't um, remember words to songs very well. Oh, don't try and cover I, I swear, I've listened to Jack Harlow's album probably 100 like a hundred times. And today, put it on again. On the way back from Dubbo, listened to the whole thing, and I was trying to like rap lines, and I had no idea. So, <laughs> good album, by the way. Great album, Jack Harlow. He's he's my guy. Yeah. <laughs> See, he this is another is. thing. You know how he's he getting them posters guys. made? Yeah. He's put. He's actually going to get Jack Harlow in it. Of he, course. Yes. So you're saying he's the top two artists you could think of? Right at this minute. Yeah. Bro. Oh, fair enough. Did Who's the other one? Drake. Drizzy. Yeah. Yeah. Drake. What? J Cole's not better than Jack Harlow. He is, but he hasn't right. released music in Jack ages. Oh, oh this way. mate, no he's way. He's cool. No Maybe way. He's, he, you used to try and hate him, but you actually like him now. Who, Jack, Jack I didn't yeah. like one song. You don't like oh. one song? No, Do you remember no, when he said no, that? No, 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 oh, no. I said I didn't like he, one song. He's like a one-hit wonder. That's what he was saying. I never said that. I called it about the baby, and no one yeah. got on my back. Mate, I no, got you on didn't. your back. Yes, I no, did. Kalen, I've always said he doesn't have versatility, haven't I? KP doesn't have shit. <laughs> you don't know anything. He's got bombarded there. All right, let's get back to the list. Connor, yours were? Right, Just we, give us three. Three. <clears throat> nah, I'm going five. Well, I didn't put all five okay, in the playlist. Okay, so I, first, firstly, I went, don't tell me you put Around the World in. Did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to say Around the World by Daft Punk. Because obviously, because they're, they're yeah, because they were just retired, so I wanted yeah. to give them a shout out. Yeah, I've got a minute. Yeah, so play it. <laughs> any manners, any like, manners. Oh. If you listen to last week's podcast, <laughs> this is a true fucking showing of what he's like. Bad. Around that's a good song. Cracker. All right, what's seven? All right. Um, I had Hey Ya by Outkast. Yeah. Hey ya. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's a good song. Um, and then I had YMCA because <laughs> I don't have the other <laughs> The village people. This is this is this getting you up in any scene? I just oh, yeah, like everyone's it gonna do it. No, I can do it. Yeah, but you can do it even when you're sitting down. You even if you're a sit down dancer, <laughs> I'll just jump down and sit down. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you look at me like that? <laughs> I also had. Um, and I know that you didn't put this in, but Sweet Caroline. That's a good song. Yeah. I would have put that over I would have put that over YMC. Oh yeah, well I, I would have. If you asked me to do well, like why a, wasn't it above it on the well, list? Well just because that was when I thought of it. 
<laughs> and then I had um in in last place the nut bush. Yeah. Not yeah. Bush City Limits. Mm, mm, Do we like that one? Yeah, uh, that's all right. Yeah. Because it got the dance. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking like- if you're a 50 year old woman, that's all right. <laughs> well, but you wouldn't, so you wouldn't dance to it. Nah, I like it, it's all right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mind What that. are yours? Can we- Mine was it? Get Lucky, like I said earlier. Mm. Everyone knows that song. Boom, boom, boom. Oh. This I had Walking playlist. on a Dream by Empire of the Sun. Oh. This yes. is- oh, And yeah. lastly- This is a great song. Had a great Aussie song. <laughs> K San by Cold Chisel. Thanks for coming. Your mum loves that song. You happy your with mum those does. Three? Are you yeah, happy with those three? It. Yeah. You reckon? Yeah. I'm more happy than yours. John's your thoughts? You're not happy with mine. No, I was. I was. The, bag the who? The Bag Raiders. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good song. That's a good song. Yeah, that's yeah. a great song. Mm. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's good. You can always rely on Johnsy, man. You can always rely on Johnsy. Next week, when we do the Johnsy one, we'll make it. Who knows music more out of you three? Nah, Johnsy. By yeah, length, third by length, there. by a massive length, by three lengths. How many lengths? Three. I just said three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are the lengths? How big are they? <laughs> massive. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> what made, were you getting? At? I made that awkward. Sorry. <laughs> All right, we're gonna My move bad. on. The other day when we were in the car, mm -hmm. I wanted to talk about this because there's some good stories about it. When we almost got killed at the roundabout. Remember that? No. What? Who pushed who? It was literally like a week ago. You were driving. And remember you went to oh. go and that bloke in front of oh, us. Oh, flying. Like, that bloke in front of us almost put the brakes on in the middle of the road. Yeah. yeah. And we almost died. Yeah. He didn't wait for like, it was. I like, was no, he just, yeah. yeah, he just went. He just went. Who's, yeah. Who's fault? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who's fault? Do I have an echo? <laughs> <laughs> Do I have an echo? <laughs> this is the thing. When you tell a joke, he'll tell it straight oh, after. Oh, And tell is, it louder. This is a great story. Great work, KP. This, how many times do you reckon that's happened? <laughs> Like nearly every, every day, every day, every day. But it, you need to say, you need to be confident enough to say it. No, I'm confident. So it's half. I'm confident to fault. say it to Connor. Basically, and, and Craig, Connor say Craig says jokes under his breath, and then oh, because he says them under his breath, and I think they're so funny. Then I'll just repeat, repeat them it. out loud for everyone to hear. To the and group. he'll get the laugh and take the claim, and I'll claim that they're my jokes yeah. too. How and many times? I, I just the sit there on the inside rattled, <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I wanted to talk about. Um, some of our near death experiences. So mm -hmm. Have you got one? You I said you had one. Eh? I do have one. Yeah. Um, I probably. I was trying to think, uh, but I mean, my memory doesn't go back that far. <laughs> Been playing rugby league for too long. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> you knew that was a bad yeah. joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To save it, it up. Yeah. Yeah. like fast anyway. To sound um, it out for us. Yeah. Um, so this was back. I would have been year six, and I remember Mum had just got a new mountain bike. Pretty, yeah, yeah, pretty good yeah. one. And at this point in time, me and the boys were heaps into BMX, riding bikes. And we're on the other side of Avoca. And I'm with um, one of my good mates, Will. And um, so I'm riding this bike, like jumping it, heaps fun. And he's on like a Dunlop bike, like um, pretty pretty old thing. Dunlop volley. Yeah, like Croaks' yeah, shoes. Like Croaks' <laughs> shoes. Um, and... <laughs> <laughs> go on yeah. <laughs> And he's like Oh Connor Can I please have a go On your mum's bike Like I want to It's sick So I was like Yeah sure sure So I'm following him He hits like This jump first And then I'm behind him And as I jump Literally I'm in the air bro And the front tyre Rolls out From the force no, I swear to god bro I swear to god Imagine just picturing it eh? <laughs> So Matt imagine. How high are you? Oh, Only like I'm not that high But you feel Half a metre But I'm high. flying bro It happens in slow and motion And it's on concrete too This is like a This is You know when you get Some driveways And they're just mad jumps Yeah, yeah. So he's cleared it in front of me I'm coming bro I'm lucky I'm wearing a helmet And I literally <laughs> Land on the forks And then just Bang, and then just fully get thrown over the handlebars and land like on the top of my head, bruh. I swear, if I wasn't wearing a helmet, that's probably skull. That's, crack skull. that's almost the end of my life right there, bruh. Straight up. <laughs> that's actually a pretty good story. Okay, how did the wheel just fall out? I don't like the, the sabotage. Will he set you up? He set you up. He set you up. He wanted to he take off with your mum's bike. Okay, but you got one first. Have you? I'm trying to think. Have unprepared. So oh. fucking unprofessional. It's not funny. Oh. I'm not. Shock. Okay, oh. okay, I've, I do. We were meant to do this podcast on Tuesday. It's Sunday. Yeah, I've been thinking about this since Tuesday. <laughs> no, yeah. I have. We'll okay. give it to us then. Okay, so in Brisbane, this <clears> when I was living in Brisbane, oh, what? The what? Yeah, no, I'm yeah, listening. Yeah, living in Brisbane, we used to catch the train everywhere, you know. 
Why are you laughing at me nah, like that? I like it. It started real yeah. well. And um, you know how I was just passing the footy with one of the boys and he threw the footy kind of out of reach and, I, and I've lunged and I've fallen on, <laughs> onto the train tracks. Oh. And I've, oh. train's coming, but I get up and get out. <laughs> <laughs> Did that really happen? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I'd make something Any up. cheers on that thing? Do you reckon, do you reckon I don't know like, where it is. That was all right. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> oh, that's a shit bell. <laughs> I couldn't, I honestly can't think of anything. But but that uh, sounded legit, sort of. I could nah, it didn't sound could legit. Could have spiced it up a bit more. Yeah. That was all right. That was all right. I had one when I was in Old Bar once. There was all these fires went through the bush. This is actually a true story. I'm not making this up. Here you, we go. No, nah, because you're looking at me like I've made it up. Croaks, compulsive liar. Bit of I'm not a liar. This. I am not a liar. Right, and me and my mate were walking through it because we thought it was real funny. Like you're walking through like this big ashy forest and we came across a snake's nest and they were all brown snakes. It was probably like six or seven Fuck. king brown snakes. I swear to God. But we didn't realise because they were covered in ash so we thought they were black snakes. So we were throwing rocks at them. <laughs> right? <laughs> anyway, so we've taken, a, we've taken a couple photos because there was a couple little baby ones. A couple of, no, not of us, of the snakes, dickhead. <laughs> and there was a couple of baby ones. So we went back to, uh, it was my mate Aubrey. You know Bailey Fall? Mm. Yeah, it was his younger brother. Yep. And so we went back to his place and we grabbed his dad. And we're like, oh, look at these snakes. And oh, we're like, oh, we found all these snakes. Did you kill them? No, I was like, I was like 11 at the time. And, he, and his dad took us over and he's like, boys, they're, they're brown snakes. And there was some like meter long king brown snakes. That's death right there. Came real close. My sister drank acid once. She almost died from that. <laughs> <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> yeah. At the dairy farm, there used to be this acid tap and she drank that. <laughs> what happened? And like she just burnt all the side of her mouth. It's <sighs> fucked up. Yeah. How did you make that story up? I did. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't make either of them up. I swear to God. Oh, okay. You, you do though sometimes. Be honest. You'll tell me a story and you'll go, "That wasn't. That wasn't true." <laughs> but be you honest. have fun. But you have fun. I when do you have fun when you tell stories. Like that one I told about Groove in the Moon. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me wrong stories all the time. Wrong. False. <laughs> lies. You tell me lies. You all just the did time. one and it was funny as. Yeah, I tried. I, didn't, I can't think of anything. That was uh, pretty good though. You reckon? Which one, mine or his? Both. But KP to come up with that on the spot. It's not bad. I was I was thinking of that for last week. <laughs> <laughs> what I can come come up with. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, boys, moving on. We got a new segment. Um, we were going to play one, but we'll play that next week. The remember when one. Mm. Uh, we just need to figure out how we're going to do it. That's right. <laughs> what the segment's going to be. Um, so now we're we're just going to play like a game of like who would you rather? Oh but, yeah, but not like. Oh yeah, not like the sex. Get your mind out of the gutter. Not like the bad one. Yeah. What yeah. do you mean? <laughs> What do you mean? I don't know. You're I'm looking excited. at me no, because you're looking at me with a real disgust look in your eye. No, I'm excited. All right. I like when you do this. So the first, we'll do what? <laughs> I don't know. Just go on your tangent. Yeah, give me give us segments and that. All right. Well, the first one is this is for both of you. Who would you rather have played for? Right. It was the New England Patriots when they were on that massive run where they had the dynasty. They had three and four, mm-hmm. or the Chicago Bulls in the mid nineties. Oh. oh. Can I be the QB for the Patriots? Who um, who are we in this? Yeah, be whoever you want. Because if you're um, well, it's going to eliminate my next question. Because <laughs> <Anyway. laughs> one of yours, one of yours, want to be Tom Brady, and the other wants to be Michael Jordan. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. yeah well, that's who would what you rather be? Say. Yeah, who well, pick pick the team first. Oh, okay. Patriots. Yeah, it's hard, man. If I'm Michael Jordan, <clears throat> but then you with Tom Brady, like he goes out with Giselle. Giselle, that's and a he's just play. like yeah, he's a stud. Yeah, he's, he's so cool, as he man. Yeah. But also, Michael Jordan brings in, like, listen to this thing today, a million dollars per year. I mean, a billion dollars. Fuck, a million. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit off. <laughs> yeah, a million. A thousand, a thousand <laughs> millions a year. <laughs> yeah. What so, who, who do you want to be? So just, no, from from Jordan brand. Oh. That's how much, like, he's so rich. So, who, so who you picking? Yeah, just pick a team. That's all I'm going Tom Brady. Giselle. Oh, I'll have to go the other one. Then. So, you're going the New England Patriots. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'd ruin pick, my I'd next question because my next them. my next one was going to be, who would you rather be? Yeah, Michael Jordan or Tom Brady. So Tom Brady. he's both on to be TV. Do you reckon Tom Brady? Yeah, because he's like TV. On he's forty three, bro. He's still playing, still winning. He's a beast. He's That's won. Nuts. He's how many comps did Michael Jordan win? Did who he would win you six? pick? Or seven. Who, who would you pick? Oh, oh wait. What did you just ask? Jay, how many comps did Michael Jordan win? Six, six. Yeah, yeah. Tom Brady's on seven. Yeah, because he just lapped him. Yeah, yeah. We're going TV. Run out of hand soon. I'd probably. I think I'd go the Patriots. Mm. Mm. That'd be mad. Is that, 
Oh, here we go. Oh, <laughs> no, nah, get it. I out. started. Nah, honestly, who's the that. greatest sportsman of all time? That's oh, that's a great question. Is it Tom? Is it or is it like even tennis? Who is it in tennis? Oh yeah, boxers like boxers. Muhammad Ali, Federer, Federer. No, nah, Jordan, uh, Brady. Is Brady Usain there? Bolt? He was pretty good, man. Bro, he, <laughs> you saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know if he, he was, but he, he literally did. Eh? Everyone in the world can run, and he does it the best. Like, and there like <laughs> doing these ones, At ten the meters end. before the line, <laughs> yeah, ten meters Looking back and <laughs> Giggles, proper giggles. Top three. My top three would be MJ, Brady. I don't think uh, you can go past Federer, man. Bro, Djokovic is going to be better than Federer. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> yeah, but he's not. But he will yeah. be. And he won me a lot of money the other week. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'll go, I'll go Ali. That's my third. That's my top three. What's yours? That's pretty good. What's the darts dude? <laughs> uh, Price. Or the other one. <laughs> the one who's won all the, the dart cons. I don't know. Price also won me a bit of money one time. <laughs> He's a little stocky bastard. On darts. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> I just chuck it this in This guy, man, a full blown degenerate. So who good. you going? Who's your top three? Um, yeah, Tom Brady, Michael Jordan, and Federer. I think it's a good call. Yeah, or Williams, Sabrina. Is it Sabrina? Is that the Serena? Call? <laughs> Serena. I'm Sabrina. glad she's your favorite, but you don't even know her first name. <laughs> what about some soccer players? Lionel Messi, oh, Cristiano Ronaldo? Ronaldo. We didn't even put any What's respect he? on yeah, their names, man. We have to. Shit. If we're talking about bringing money in a year, oh. <laughs> <laughs> stupid money. Who's your top three? How many rings has um, like Messi in that one? I don't, I don't think they, they get honestly rings, don't, don't know. They've won. They don't get rings, like but they have like heaps of different leagues, bro. Yeah. They have like heaps of different leagues. I'm pretty sure Ronaldo, like, won everything at Man U, won everything at Real Madrid, and then won everything at Juventus. Like every club he's been to, he just wins. He just, he just wins. wins. Yeah. So Cameron Smith. So who you going? Who's your three? Yeah, because he's been to heaps of Do different clubs. Is he going to go somewhere else? <laughs> <laughs> is he going to go somewhere else? He's played 430 games is for one club, go mate. Else? <laughs> That's a bit of shame. <laughs> yeah. But I'm saying, like, if he goes to Titans. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens. Who's your top three? Will. You Drifting haven't will. given. <laughs> I'm going off here in tangents. <laughs> but I don't, I don't mind it. No, I like it. Who's your top three? Go. Um, Brady. Yep. MJ. Yep. I'm going to say someone different, but I don't have one. <laughs> Just say someone the same then <laughs> Say some ping pong players <laughs> yeah. KP who would you have rather played for the Like the Queensland Origin team From 2006 to 2013 Or the All Blacks from 2007 to 2015 When they made three World Cup finals in a row Won two of them Queensland Oh, I would No because if I Yeah I don't know Queensland Bro Yes Yeah right. yep. 100% all right, so you don't get Imagine to play that. But you don't get to play with Uncle Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle DC. Yeah, man. <laughs> Uncle Richie. Him. But you get to play with that. I'll take Queensland. Yeah. Yeah? Yes. What would you have chosen, Connor? I feel like that hurt coming out of his mouth. Yeah, he didn't like saying that. You wanted to say the All Blacks, eh? No, I didn't. Say it. Just say it. Oh, All Blacks. So you're going with the All Blacks? Queensland. I'd probably go. Who's a better. Who would you Honest, I, I reckon um, the All Blacks, just because it's like a world sport. Mm. Good call, man. That's, that's where my head's at. DC or Lockyer? Four. Just like who's a, who I'd, I'd want to play with DC, I oh. reckon. That's a good call. Or nah. Richie? Richie McCall or Petro Seven Seva? I don't really I don't really know much. Like I didn't really watch Petro. I met Richie one day, I met him at the shops in New Zealand. Got a photo with him. <laughs> I actually did a TV you've already told you've told us this before. On yeah, the I think he has, yeah. I actually did a Not TV. on the podcast. Yeah. I actually did a TV ad with um Petro. <laughs> did you? Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's still playing. Me, he played my, in a me and my match. brother did. Uh, Petro, Nathan Highmarsh, Justin Hodges, and there was one more New South, New South Wales bloke. I can't remember who it was. I named one of our bulls on the farm after Petro. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. <laughs> I swear to God, that's not a lie. You named a bull. I used to love him that much. Because I grew bull. up supporting Penrith, and he used to play for Panthers. So, so you named a bull. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? That's, that's yeah. good. That's I actually nice. um, met a baby on the weekend. Named Kalen. <coughs> Did you actually? Yeah, because of Kalen. Because of him. Dubbo, oh, yeah. you've met one named Kalen. Yeah, yeah there's a couple getting around. One. This is Kalen too. Oh, there's not many. There's not many Kalens in the world. Three of us, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's not many. I'm telling <laughs> you. There's not More many than three. I'm telling you. <laughs> Sorry, bro. I'm throwing a bit of shade at you. Yeah, it's, I don't know why. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> it's a lot coming What I've done to deserve that. Remember that day we watched the Dan Carter doco and you were going to shave off your mullet? 
<laughs> that was mad. Clean cut. I was Clean like, cut. What am I doing with myself? And then you're like, you're like, he wouldn't have had any shit haircuts. Yeah. Then you Google. Then you Google it. And he, he had a mullet. <laughs> <laughs> he had a mullet at one he point. Had, he had he had bad haircuts. That was a mad doco. What was that called? Almost. Yeah. Uh, the perfect ten. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we watched the Richie McCall one as well. That's a good doco too, man. Chasing great or something. Yeah. Chasing ex. Watch, chasing watch those. Yeah, watch those. Listeners, watch little, those. Highly recommend. Tip. Yeah, they're mad. Mm. Another doco, Operation Odessa. <laughs> Sorry, more tangles. Yeah, <laughs> but that was great. It was good. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, I was. Um, what is that about? Very intrigued. Oh, it's just hectic. It's oh. about. <laughs> Sweet smart. I, I can't know. explain these, it. These guys were like weapons dealers, and then they ended up trying to. I mean, weapons dealers, they were car dealers. Oh, car dealers, and they ended up. <laughs> I'm sweating selling so a, bad. Selling bro. a submarine. <laughs> selling a trying to sell a submarine to the. Uh, to Escobar To the that. cartel To the full cartel Yeah so they could smuggle drugs On the water That was wow. crazy Yeah It was mental Back in the 80s Yeah I think. They were gonna annoying. buy it off The Russian Soviet Union Cause the Cold War finished Yeah and, and they, they had like, all these Like spare weapons And yeah, and, and cars And everything and and Because just, nothing was worth Anything over there You could buy like a A tank for like $500 <laughs> And they'll just bring it over And give and it to the cartel And then they just Illegally bring it over And then just sell it for like <laughs> 500000 yeah. to the cartel like That's then, pretty mad bro You gotta watch it Gotta watch it What's it called? Operation Odessa. Correct. There right. you go. There's three different tacos. To wrap up, boys, we're going to talk. <laughs> we're going to start with you or the rest of us? Because um, you've been going pretty bad lately. You've had some some bumps in the road as being an adult. I, I Literally yeah, I every, every day I have a bump in the road <laughs> as being an adult. <laughs> Tell us about some of them. Um, to Wait start it. with, my fir- the first one. So I heard this on the radio the other day. Um, it was basically – it was on um, – I think hit 106.9, Jess, uh, Ducko and oh, no. uh, Nick. Yep. That's yep. it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I was like, oh, shit. Do you still go on that show? I'm, yeah. I'm about to start going on. Little plug. Next that's week. Why, that's why he brought it up. <laughs> Make sure you're listening Thursday mornings. <laughs> little plug, eh? Little plug, yeah. <laughs> what time? Um, I don't know. Seven, maybe? Yeah. He knows. Uh, <laughs> so, I don't know. It's like seven. <laughs> um, yeah, and they brought up a topic. Wait a minute. Didn't you used to do that? Yeah, yeah I did. Ooh. I stole it. Uh, Ooh. Mm. They didn't like me. You want to talk about that? No, not really. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't. I don't know why I don't, I'm not doing it anymore. But mm. Russia. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Back to I'm you. Not good enough. Back to you. Um. So, yeah, I heard on the radio it was, they brought up a topic. How have you failed as an adult? And I thought it'd be an interesting topic. Obviously, Kalen being on the podcast, he does a lot. <laughs> This is sweet, eh? He f- <laughs> he's just going at me the whole time. <laughs> oh, mate. You can't fail to be an adult. He hasn't grown up yet. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Um, so I had I had two two big ones. Um, <laughs> two f- big, first, two. the biggest one that I've done is I just didn't check my mail for ages. It would have been like pushing six months, I reckon. <laughs> Six months when, when I moved into this house Six months I didn't, And I forgot that all my bills Were going to get mailed to me Yeah you'd so think so I went to the my, It was overflowing It's the way they've been doing it for a hundred years Oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> Sorry Go on <laughs> Sorry mate So um, My Mailbox is overflowing And I've gone through Like I had all these email oh, Sorry Letters from Different billing agencies But then I started getting them from Um what are they called? De- Shut. Debt collectors? Debt collectors. <laughs> like saying that I'm going to get like taken to court and shit if like I don't. Get given a subpoena. Like yeah, imagine like almost, that, a, almost a subpoena. Um, yeah, for not paying my uh, rates, my rates, my water bills. My water actually got cut off. Bro, I, I have the same God. story. Yeah, you tell yours. <laughs> I'll tell my water, I, I rang my mum. I'm like, mum, <clears throat> I'm telling, I don't know what's wrong. My water is cold. Like it's not going hot. So I've got like a plumber around here and stuff to have a look at like my meter and shit. Turned out I just hadn't ha- paid my bills. So they turned my hot water Bro, off. Bro, literally the exact same thing <laughs> happened to me when I lived at Kim Street. I didn't realise like, because I just never had an account sent up with like Hunter Water. <laughs> so I was just never getting billed. I'm like, mate, this is gross. Went through six <laughs> months, hadn't been billed yet. <laughs> and then um, <laughs> then like got this message. They're like, if you don't set up an account or something, then I was like, oh, spam. Doesn't matter. I didn't set up an Spain. account, and then they cut off my water. <laughs> oh, mate, it was so bad. So that's one. Have you got another one? Um, yeah, my other one was just going to be about my plants and that. So um, if you've seen the two five seven, have you have you been looking after them? They forgot. look so I shit. Have, I haven't, man. What the hell? This is the second time I've done it. So I've been to the markets <laughs> before because I like them. I actually like the markets. Um, so I go there the second time. Try and yeah, be, try and yeah. be so wholesome, bra. And get all these plants and 
get little pots for them. And um, then he just it happened like two years ago. I watered them for like a week. They were looking hectic, and then just forgot about it. Died, <laughs> died. Did it two weeks ago, and. I'll put a photo up right now of what they did look like and what they look like now, but they're all like trash. What is it? Wilted. They've just wilted. They're leaning like. I'd just say they're dead. dead. (laughs) Scrap them, mate. It's awesome. (laughs) The chilies look alright though. What? Have you looked after them at all? No. I watered them for like three days. No, you didn't. Two days. What were you here every day? Let's throw KP under the bus. What do we got on him? He's got heaps, eh? (laughs) He's just bad time wise. What do you? What do you? You leave him alone. No, I've got a great. Remember my car, Roger? (laughs) 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 So we're having a couple of drinks here this one day. It was an afternoon. And my little brother was sharing a car at the time. And he rings me up. And he was just driving past this house. (laughs) And he goes, Hey, bruh, just got pulled over by the police. (laughs) Your car doesn't have a rego or a clean green slip. (laughs) And he's like, What's that set you back? Oh. A little bit. Sent me back like 1600 bucks. Oh. Yeah. And then, no, but that was fine. And then you got to go get your car regoed. And it's hard to get your car regoed too. <laughs> <laughs> shady. And, hey, very shady. And because like I hadn't had it registered in like six days or something, like it was over six days, I had to do the full year. Oh, mate. I was out like $2,700 that week. That was that a hurts. bad week, yeah. I've never gone swing like that. I'm pretty good, I reckon. How is your license going? <laughs> I might be losing it, yes. You We're got, not too sure yet. Yeah, you got a field goal left, eh, one point. <laughs> I'm pretty good. You reckon? If, oh. if you didn't have your mum, how'd you go? No, nah, no good. Nah. <laughs> that's Surely fair. you that's got some stories. Point. What do you got on him? That's a good point. Oh, here we go. Oh. He's gotta, angry at me at the moment. He's angry at me right now. Explain that. <clears throat> because Let it out. Let it out. So went away a couple of days. Yeah. Come home. Let let Kalen's um Oh, he's, yeah, let our friend, our friend, who was Kalen's guest for the weekend, stay in my bed, <laughs> walk into my room, bed's not made, clothes that were folded on the bed, all on the floor, a couple of empty Powerade bottles, <laughs> shoes, there's a vape sitting in there, <laughs> your, your sonny's croaks. So <laughs> it wasn't, no, it wasn't, man. So someone left there's their like, shoes there's, in there. Yeah, mm. I will blame him for that. I'll, of course, I left my shoes there. Yeah, sorry. But like, it's not even like the bed isn't made. It's like the <laughs> sheets, torn. the doona, it's torn, torn it's twisted, it's everywhere. It was intense. Oh, it was, and then, so I, I walked in with oh. <laughs> like it was bad. It was actually bad. <laughs> I went, oh. what noise you make? Go do it again. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, so I'm on edge, right? Just yeah. had a four hour drive. Yeah, <laughs> come in, and you're an angry little man. No, nah, well, I'm, I'm. Sorry about the little. Oh, <laughs> that's. Fucked. I didn't mean that. No, I didn't he mean. Text me. I didn't mean that intentionally. Oh, he texted me too. He texted me. I, woke, I was. Asleep. You would have more respect, eh, than leave my room like this. That's no, what he did. Swear to God, I that's did. what he said. To I texted Bailey too. Did he tell you? Yeah, he told me. Mm. I threw Bailey I straight w- under the bus. I, I said, sure, "I said, surely you have more respect for me than to leave my room like that." He's said, wigging. He's wigging. <laughs> he texted me. He's wigging. Yeah. It, it, was, it was. It was fair. The rest of the house <clears> was clean though. Oh. And then I walk out. <laughs> And, you know, some of this stuff is mine because we ha- we set up the table the other day. There's boxes inside from that. Hundreds. There's boxes outside from the sauna. and But then uh, there's, like, more bottles and there's shit here, there's shit there. Uber there's eats. some clothes hanging around. Uber Eats there. Uber Eats here and there. There's, well, couple, not there's a couple goosey cans getting around, oh. some towels on the floor. Lounge is messy and everything I just see and I just started getting, my blood was boiling oh, more, and more, and more, and more and more and more and more. So and what'd you do? Oh. What'd you do? You would have ticked I was at Eli's. Too. I was at Eli's. Yeah. I woke up from my nap to a, to a text from Connor. Oh no. Oh. So I texted him what time's training. He said three. <laughs> so I made sure he wasn't home when I got home. <laughs> I cu- and then I cleaned up and now look at it. Now we're happy and healthy. Mm. Mm. Still a bit to do, but. My, I'm messy, forgetful. And that's, yeah, that's about unorganized, it. unorganized, but but a good bloke. Mm. <laughs> eh. <Reckon>? mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right, boys, that was fun, eh? <laughs> Did you just have a good time? Always, always, always just always. laughing, <laughs> you, especially KP. You just bully me. That's pretty much what just happened for the last <laughs> thirty Man, minutes. Connor copped his fish, yeah. True. Yeah. Croaks is somehow just sitting there. Feeding, Shit stirring, bro. Yeah, stirring the pot. It's good though. As I do segments. I As can't I wait for you to get on here, Johnsy, and. Get into this, Derek. Every Tuesday, eh? Is that what we're going to... Every Tuesday, guys. When are we going to release it? We'll release it on Tuesday. Tuesday. Right, so we're going to do it and release. Sunday or Monday. Do and release. Also, we're going to do them on Sunday, Monday. Depends whenever 
our man Jake and yeah, we'll be consistent. He was MVP today. Easy. He was. Mm. And so. shout out to Tex too. And Tex, yeah, of course. Looking good. Sexy, 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 sexy shit. All right, boys, let's go. Oh, lights just turned lights off. Turned off. <laughs> lights just turned the off. The power. The power. He hasn't paid his electricity bill. <laughs>